University of Waterloo is known for its prestigious engineering programs and computer science programs. I'm here to spill the tea guys and tell you the honest truth of the University of Waterloo in the perspective of a second year engineering student. Now, I know I made a video about this before, but since I'm a second year now, my opinions of Waterloo engineering have really, really changed to be honest. And I feel like it's only right and fair for me to share my updated opinions on what I think about Waterloo engineering now. I know a lot of you guys watching this are probably still in high school and maybe you're thinking, hey, is this the right university for me? Well, let me give you guys some of my honest opinions on Waterloo Engineering so far and how it's been for me. The social life. To be honest, the social life is kind of grim, especially if you really only focus on academics. If you really just want to focus on academics, that's completely fine. But just know that if you don't put yourself out there, then it's going to be really, really tough. The good thing is you'll also be able to find very like-minded people who are also very academically focused. Now for me, in first year, I really, really focused on studying. And in second year, I kind of tried to have more of a balance. And what it made me realize was that in university, you know, it's not only about the academics. There's also other parts to it. And I think there's a great opportunity for you to really emotionally mature as an individual and i used to think when people said that oh you know the social life is what you make of it that it was kind of bs but you know, now that i think about it i think that advice is actually kind of true but me personally you know i'm not really big into partying or drinking so you know it's really up to you as a person what you really want to do and what you kind of define as like a social life as well i think the main thing though is trying to cultivate a, a good friend group a friend group that really aligns with your values and your goals in essence it's really what you make of it one other big thing is class attendance. Now, if you're in first year, you should only really attend classes if they even add value to you. If your professor sucks at teaching, you're not really gonna learn anything. Probably be better off studying on your own in like the DC library or something like that. What I see some people do is they just put on their AirPods and they just like put on the noise cancellation and they just study the notes on their own while the professor is like talking about random stuff. Yeah, overall, my biggest piece of advice for class attendance would be to prioritize attending classes that are taught by actual good professors, especially for a lot of those courses that are mainly like really challenging. And then for like the easier ones, I think self-studying would be a lot more productive. And yeah, just try following that advice and see how it goes. Co-op and practical experience. Now, a lot of co-op positions and practical experiences are probably like the most important opportunities that you get to have at Waterloo. Even if the employment rates are low, even if it's 50%, 50% of people still get jobs, you know? Like that's still really good for someone who's in like first year university. Like you're straight out of high school and you're getting a job that pays like 25 an hour. That's not bad. Academics versus mental health. I think the biggest thing when it comes to trying to balance your academics with your mental health is understanding like the law of diminishing returns. When it comes to like assignments and quizzes, it's not always worth it to sacrifice like your mental health or even your co-op opportunities just to get those done. Honestly, like grades only have like a marginal impact on your career growth and it's probably better for you to actually focus more on like getting a co-op position and getting some more experience because at the end of the day, what if you do bad on a quiz, that's worth like 1%, 2% of your overall mark. Physical health and fitness. Staying active is probably one of the most important things that you can do for your physical health and that's just by going to the gym and doing some sports and you know honestly any physical activity like going for some nice like 10 kilometer runs. Um, I'd say like valuing your physical health is is crucial you know. I neglected this a lot in first year but in second year I started going to the gym a lot more often and that really helped with my mental health. Also I noticed that you know I was able to study a lot more effectively and it was able to focus a lot better when I was studying. Get some good sleep as well like having a lot of good sleep sleep is really really good for your brain and you want to you want to keep your brain healthy because you need that to power yourself while you're studying probably my biggest mistake like sometimes i would try to pull all-nighters just for quizzes and it honestly wasn't worth it you know law of diminishing returns again so take that advice as well guys academic performance when you go to waterloo a lot of people are gonna have really really big egos because everyone that comes here honestly like everyone had like a 98 average coming in and when it comes to academic performance people are still gonna have that big ego so you can't take things things too too seriously and too too personally but don't always surround yourself with those types of people because it's a really toxic mindset to have if like your grades drop compared to high school and don't let that define your self-worth um, literally i had a roommate in mechanical engineering and he got like apple tesla and like logitech for his co-ops and his grades were like in the 60s so don't define your self-worth through your academic performance you know if you don't want to surround yourself with those types of people you don't have to now networking and professional development opportunities are really great at waterloo if you talk with like some of the professors the TA 
employees and the upper year students, you'll notice that Waterloo has a lot of great guidance and opportunities for you to connect with people. And a lot of the upper year students, what, like they work at Google, Microsoft, NVIDIA. It's actually kind of cool. You can just reach out to them. They'll talk about their experience and they could probably help with your resume too. And the last thing is resiliency and kind of like adaptability. And this is probably like the biggest thing. When you're in Waterloo and you're applying to co-op, sometimes it can get pretty grim when you're in like cycle one and you face like a lot of rejection. You don't really end up getting a job in cycle one. And then cycle two, same thing happens. And you know, that's just kind of like the whole part of like Waterloo's co-op program is it kind of forces you to embrace that rejection and challenge yourself and kind of build some grit. And I notice a lot of people like their mental health kind of like diminished because like they weren't able to handle a lot of that in first year you know you kind of have to keep like that mentality that more opportunities are going to come out of this and that all this pain and everything like that it's only temporary and what really helped for me was that even after my um second year or even after my first year i found that really really tough and then when i got to my first co-op even that was kind of stressful for me and then after my second year when i got to my cur the current co-op term that i'm in right now it's been a lot more relaxing and it's made me realize like if i go out of university and i'm working full-time and it's something like this then you know I wouldn't mind that. It's a lot better compared to how it is in university. It's not as intense when you're studying. You know, just keep the hope out there. The biggest thing is also like try to seek out for help and resources. And um, if you're ever struggling with anything, then we have like a lot of academic advisors. And there's a lot of like great people around. Like even though there's a lot of people who have like big egos and people are really toxic half the time, there's also like really good people in your class. And if you can surround yourself with people who have really good positive and hopeful mindsets and they're super optimistic about things, then you want to surround yourself with those types of people honestly the biggest thing i could say is when you're in first year in your first month you really want to form like a good solid friend group and if you're able to do that then you're gonna you're gonna power through it and you're gonna make it through when you're in an engineering cohort you guys are stuck together and if you can make a good group of friends you guys can go through the pain together and even though first year was really tough for me and very really stressful for me you know if you're in computer engineering you know the 1b term the memories i made in 1b struggling with my friends studying and stuff it was uh you know it was definitely a experience so i i think it's really important to power through it with other people who are also going through the same challenges that you are so yeah honestly engineering at waterloo it can get really intense sometimes and my experience as a second year has been a lot more relaxing compared to first year and that's really what kind of kept me going because i was like okay honestly like first year was really stressful but maybe second year i kind of got used to it and also like the courses became a lot more interesting and then like my current co-op term it's been a lot more fun extremely relaxed if I'm being honest, in first year, I like I kept thinking of like transferring programs or like just dropping out completely. I'm just really glad I stuck through this because the co-op opportunities that you get, the friends that you can make have all really been worth it. And this all sounds really cliche, but I'm, I'm honestly telling you guys the truth. And even if you might be struggling, know that there's other people who are struggling as well and that you're not going to struggle alone. And hey, if you're having a tough time, you can always reach out to me. Or if you have any questions about Waterloo, guys, because this is honestly just my honest review, my honest thoughts about everything Waterloo engineering related. So other than that, that's all for me, guys. I'm Jay Lau. Thanks for watching this video. And thanks for 670 subscribers, guys. Peace.